Hello everybody, so as you saw in the intro, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, we release at least two dropshipping videos every week, we do live events and we share a lot of knowledge that we find interesting for dropshippers from AutoDS. So let's start. Before we get started, what is the AliExpress Dropship Center? The AliExpress Dropship Center is the dropshipping center of AliExpress where they help you to find top selling products. What can they help you with? With many different uh, criteria, the first one is just to recommend you some products that they see that's selling the best way right now. But also accept the trending products, you can also just put a link to one of the products that you are thinking about, maybe you should sell this product and see if this product really gets sales right now or maybe the trend already finished. So before we get started, let's see how to register to AliExpress's dropship center. So to do that, we first need to create an AliExpress account, regular account in AliExpress. How to do that? So I will go to AliExpress, I will open an email. Just for the example, it's really quick pro process as you can see. Create account. The account was created, now the second step that I need to go is to go to the dropship center. I will attach a link to the center below this video, but let's uh, find the link in the easiest way. I will go to Google and write AliExpress dropship center. You will see here kind of agreement, so just scroll down, check this checkbox here, click next, again next. Here you should put your first and last name, submit, and boom, go to the dropship center. Now as you can see, you are already inside the dropship center, it was very quick and very easy process. The second step, and I want first to show you how you get there in the next time, so we go to your account, my orders, and then in the top here we will see the dropship center. So after we registered to the dropship center, let's see what type of information can we get using this center that will help us to save time and make our products much better and then I will also explain how you can expand your store using this type of product. Now something important, I'm using this tool not only to sell from AliExpress because after I found the product I can go and list this type of product from any of other supported suppliers in AutoDS and I shouldn't really stick only with AliExpress. So let's see. The first section that we have here called the find products to sell. If I go to this section I can see here some interesting things. First of all, the interesting category for us is the hot selling because the search by image or sponsored products not interesting for us right now. So product category, if you prefer a specific category, you can go and choose the category that you want here. I will not show in this video a specific category, but usually home improvement, for example, is a very safe category when you work with any suppliers. And this is something that for beginners, I would go and work using this one. Electronics, sometimes also you can find very trending products there, so it's also interesting. But if the category is not relevant for you and you are not, you don't care about which type of products to sell in your store so I wouldn't really focus on that and I would continue without the category uh, search here. The second thing that I recommend you to do is to choose here the ship from China because that's where we usually do dropshipping from the uh, products that are cheaper and we have a uh, good uh, shipping from these countries especially now in this period of the year uh, other countries are struggling with shipping while China already fine. So I will choose this one, then I will go here to the price. So for beginners I wouldn't work with products that are higher than $40, so I will write here $40 just to decrease the risk of the products that we are uh, working with. But again, if you plan just to do a research here and then go and list from other US suppliers like Amazon for example, so it's not a problem to put here even higher amount. But in this case I will just put here $40. And the minimum price I will write $5 because I don't want to work with products of $1 or $2, it's too cheap for me. So I will click here OK. After we set the price range, the second thing that we will do here is 
that we will um, filter by ePacket. If you are a beginner, ePacket will be the easiest way for you to go. So just choose ePacket e here. By the way, below this video we will attach a link to AliExpress full A to Z guide that we created in our AutoDS dropshipping blog. So you can go there, find what are the right policies to work with and some other interesting tips about dropshipping from AliExpress. So I choose here ePacket and let's see what we see here. We see two types of columns here. We see the orders and we see the dropshipping orders. The dropshipping orders are orders that uh, AliExpress decided that it's not to the address of the user and they see that this user is a dropshipper and that's why if someone has here a high amount of dropshipping orders, you can understand that there is a huge amount of successful sales using this product from AliExpress. But it's not always good and you should go and confirm on eBay if the competition is not too high. Because sometimes I would even prefer products with high amount of orders but low amount of dropshipping orders. But again, it really depends on the product and in this type of cases I, I would recommend you to go to eBay and check if this type of product is really, or product is really not too, without too many competitors. So let's go. First of all, we can see here many different products, many different type of products and let's see. Let's take a random product, for example, this LED light and see what happens if we click on the analyze here. So you have here a, a graph which goes between 1 to 100 and as you can see, the trend here is pretty stable, which means that people are really still selling this product and it's still trendy because sometimes you will see a graph that goes really high and then it crashes and for this type of products I wouldn't even try to sell because you will see from AliExpress that this product doesn't really have a demand right now so in these cases just skip to the next product but this product we can check here and see that it's pretty stable we see a, a little drop here in the last day but it's just because uh, it's one day I wouldn't really stop uh, researching this type of product. By the way, if you want to optimize your titles or something like that, we will attach links below this video so you can check these links and see there how to find more profitable products in some other methods and how to optimize your titles. So check the description for more details. So we see a product here and what we can do from here. First we can open the product and we can see what we have here. First of all, we can see that this seller is uh, really sold a lot from this product. The reviews are good, the seller is good. I can even download the Ali Tools extension to check if this product is really uh, a good selling product. Let's go to another tab where it's not incognito. Ali Tools. Okay, so I will download the Ali Tools extension. So then I can really make easier research for this product and I can see here some uh, points about this product. I wouldn't really upload this product because as you can see here we have two uh, points that are not green, especially not as a beginner, but just for the example. I will take the product from here and I will search it on eBay. Now we can see some different type of products here and we can see that this product goes between 9 to 35 while the average here, for example, we can see here a product that sold for $24, 93 times, 15. So basically we can check and go deeper and see if there is really a demand and if we don't have a lot of competition. Competition. In some cases you will see a lot of different dropshippers who sell the same product, but I want to say something important here. When you work with AliExpress Dropship Center, don't plan just to find a product and then go and, and list it in your store. Think out of the box. Think that you found a product now that is really um, with a demand and has maybe a trend and try to find some other products that are similar to this one. So we just copy the title, go here and search on AliExpress. That will be the process. Now we can see many different products for the same niche and maybe we can find even cheaper products that someone just created to compete with this specific seller and then we can be much more competitive than our other competitors who just go to AliExpress Dropship Center and copying the products to their stores. 
Let's see what we have more in the AliExpress dropship center. So after we uh, did this re research using uh, the parameters that we have here, we can also sort by the rating of the product, which is something which is super cool, it will save you time, and then you can go only to products with five ratings. But I usually work with the orders up from the United States. Because I'm a seller of United States, I sell to United States, so I will just uh, search by this and then we can see the top selling products here and the best trends that we can see here so we can see here many different products for example this one we see 4000 sales without any dropshipper so I would go and really click the analyze here let's see here we don't we even don't have enough data which is something that happens if you wait a few days you will see the data coming now let's see what we have under the product analysis uh, section here I will take a random product, I prepared one product here, let's say this camera, this is just a product that I found from the main page on Aliexpress, I saw it here and then I thought okay let's check the demand for this product or how it sells. So any product that you list even from Amazon, Home Depot or any other supplier you can just find similar product on Aliexpress and take this product and then try to analyze using the uh, product analysis section here click the analysis and now you can see the trend of this graph you can see that it was dropped somewhere here and then it went up again and you can see that this product is really still trendy for a really uh, long time for at least for the last two weeks we can see that it's fine so that's something that i really recommend you to do for any product that you before you want to list I hope that this video helps you and that you will really use this feature because it can open your mind for new type of products, for new categories, for new niches and this is something that I wanted to take from this video. Don't just go and list products from here directly, but when you want to get some ideas, it's the best place, it's really amazing place to get ideas there. We can use this one, we can use eBay Trends that we also created a video about this one and it will be below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ask me anything that you would like to know more about dropshipping so I can create more high quality videos for you. Comment down for any other questions that you have. Like this video so other people will also see this video and share this with other people who will get value from this type of videos.